for these upgrades. Uh, Forestville. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, my grievance today is to the Minister for Transport. Um, can I just start by acknowledging the transport solutions that are being delivered to my electorate uh, as we speak? And to name a few, firstly, the Gateway WA project, uh, which I will come back to, Minister. Uh, but this record spend is delivering some <coughs> great outcomes for the local community. And I think I should take this opportunity just to make mention uh, of Nick Coombe and his team. Uh, who, are doing a, who are doing a great job uh, at delivering this project ahead of time and under budget. Um, retrofitting these major interchanges within existing highways is never easy, Mr Speaker, uh, and they've done it very well. Uh, in particular, their traffic management has been exemplary. Of course, I uh, also need to thank you, uh, Minister, for coming out to my electorate last week to turn the sod on the grade-separated interchange uh, that is uh, occurring at Berkshire Road and Row Highway intersection. Um, Minister, this is a fantastic outcome for the electorate of Forestfield, uh, as we've made mention too many times in this chamber, but it really is. Uh, it's been a major bugbear uh, for my constituents and a major black spot with, I think, a, an accident on average every 10 days occurring at that intersection. And for people who don't know the lie of the land, um, if you saw it first hand, you'd understand why with the... Uh, half the intersection uncontrolled uh, and that half of the intersection is primarily used by uh, trucks and, uh, uh, and industrial type movements. Um, so that is a fantastic outcome for the community and it's great that we're delivering that one. Um, I should also note the, uh, the Forestwood Airport link which uh, will be a game changer for the eastern suburbs, um, connecting my electorate to the city with a 20 minute train ride. So all of these things are fantastic Minister and I thought you know, I should uh, be fair and, and uh, make make note of those fantastic things that are being delivered for the community. Um, however, uh, with that said, I do want to return to the Gateway WA project, which I mentioned earlier. Uh, and whilst I acknowledge the great things Gateway are doing, I do want to highlight uh, with you today an issue that has been raised with me by a number of my constituents, and, and that is with regards to the intersection at Hale Road and Tonkin Highway. As it stands, Gateway intends to close the turn right lane from Tonkin Highway into Hale Road, uh, as though you were travelling into the suburb of Wattle Grove. Um, my constituents are unhappy with this outcome, and as such I've raised this with the Gateway WA team. Uh, in fact, I raised that at a meeting I had with them here at Parliament House. Uh, the Gateway WA team was very responsive uh, and had done some initial planning around a possible solution to this problem and undertook to take that possible solution to a steering committee meeting uh, which I believe met last month, um, Minister. And I understand the, uh, the rationale behind closing the lane uh, is due to the interchange upgrades occurring at the neighbouring Tonkin Highway Row Highway interchange and as such the off-ramp from Row Highway uh, south onto Tonkin Highway is considered too close to Hale Road for commuters to merge across in time to safely enter the turn right lane and enter Wattle Grove. Thus the initial solution was to close the turn right lane uh, and instead uh, people could turn left at Hale Road, go up to a roundabout at Reynolds near Hart Hartfield Park uh, and return to the lights at Tonkin Highway and then cross Wen Green into Wattle Grove. Uh, quite rightly, the residents of Wattle Grove view this as ridiculous, uh, and as do I. The alternative solution is to put bollards along the off-ramp lane from Row Highway so that cars from that lane cannot merge across, uh, and, uh, however, add a lane to the intersection and keep the turn right lane into Wattle Grove open. This would then mean the, that for motorists entering Tonkin Highway off Row Highway, would not be able to enter Hale Road. They would need to do this from the upgraded interchange at Berkshire Road and Row Highway and then travel down Hale Road into Wattle Grove. However, all other commuters heading south on Tonkin Highway would be able to enter Hale Road from Tonkin Highway at the turn right lane, uh, which I see as a common sense solution that balances both safety and accessibility for the community. Um, Minister, I think responsible governments should always look for common sense solutions and I think that this is a solution that the community would welcome rather than the closure of the turn right, right lane uh, and I look forward to your response. Thank you Mr Speaker and I thank the member for Forestfield for raising this issue with me. Uh, after visiting the intersection with you last week I can understand 
uh, your constituents' frustration in this otherwise very successful infrastructure project. Uh, your constituents have appropriately identified an issue with the initial planning for this intersection that would have removed right, uh, right turn access from Tonkin Highway into Hale Road. Uh, without right turn access from Tonkin Highway, your constituents from Wattle Grove will spend more time in transit and I do worry uh, that out of frustration they may consider performing a risky, U a risky or unsafe U-turn. I applaud the work you have undertaken with Gateway WA and their willingness to assist by preparing an alternative design for this intersection that will retain the right-hand turn into Hale Road. As you mentioned, the proposal involves widening Tonkin Highway to three southbound lanes uh, through the intersection, merging the entry ramp with the leftmost lane, uh, lane and physically separating this lane from the emerging, oh, sorry, remaining two lanes through the intersection. Uh, the right turn pocket would remain, but a physical separation would prevent cars weaving across multiple lanes, creating a significant safety issue. This means motorists originating from the road highway ramp, both westbound and eastbound, are prevented from turning right into Hale Road. This day will be required to use the new Berkshire Road interchange or Welshpool Road East. Again, this is to prevent the unsafe weaving moment I mentioned earlier. The Gateway Project Steering Committee agreed to proceed with developing a, prelim a preliminary design and cost for this project. Uh, once the details are available, I will seek advice from Main Roads to determine if this will fit with the current scope of the project. I hope to have good news for your constituents and yourself early in the new year. environment and nuisance local